Yo, what's up, guys? Isn't it a little bit crazy when the little brother stands up and is just like, pop! I ain't standing for your crap no more, big bro. Well, that's exactly what happened in this one. Rising, taking down WHF. Rip, WHF. I got the details for you. Coming up next. What's up, fam? How's it going? I should probably mention that this was a friendly war, but not so friendly because we met in a random search. So uh, we got some XP for this. We got to take advantage of that clan XP times two. Got the bonus and Rising brought the heat in this one. So first, before we start the video, I got to let you guys know that Rising is looking for Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s to join the crew, join the fam. You have a chance to progress up through the family. And obviously, these guys are pretty good. We have a very, very deep clan system, great uh, talent top to bottom. So if you guys are interested in applying to join WHF, click the link in the description and we'll get you guys in for a tryout. That being said, they are a little bit full on 11s. They actually outnumbered us in 11s this war. So uh, Rising looking pretty good right now. So 9s and 10s, you're invited to apply. Click the link in the description. We're going to be looking today at Rising's attacks. We're going to focus on their Town Hall 9s because uh, they're dope. I mean, what else can I say? Look at this. Fresh six pack for Slow Poison. Fresh six pack for Tony. What's up? Uh, let's see here. Shadow Walker with the six pack. Black Zoro with the six pack. Six packs all around. Let's start from the bottom. Slow Poison. We're going to check out that first replay. Both of them fresh. It's not going to matter. Here we go. We've got Mike Wu Joe. Mike didn't feel like showing up for attacks this war. Um, Midweek random, he says. No, I don't know what's going on. Hope Mike's good. Uh, we did miss a few attacks this war. I think we only used like 56 out of 60. Not sure what's up with that, but it's all good. I'm sure there's a story behind it. So, we got witches in the corners. You know that witch slap. I love it so much, guys. I love it so much. So much love. Can you, can you, can you see? That's, that's, that is the amount of love that I have for the witch slap. All right, so he's got the basics down. Witches on the corners. Healers behind both of them. And we've got a golem and bowlers and heroes up the middle. Double jump spell is going to get him deep up in it. And, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. Witches are, are not going to die. These healers are going to keep them up. And they're just going to roll on down the sides. This is actually looking really, really good. King uses that ability. Lava Hound pops in the core. And it is all about the queen taking that out at this point. A late heal comes down. And as that king starts... Hey! We got a newest YouTube sub. Manish Cham Legane. I butchered that. I know I did. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But welcome to Banger Nation, dude. I appreciate that. You are the sub of the day. And uh, welcome to the family, man. Really appreciate all the new subscribers as of lately as I as I drool here. Good God. So yeah, if you guys do subscribe to the subscribe to the channel and you're new here, you can watch me after a night of like no sleeping, just drool all over the place. Good stuff. So right now I'm actually in the process of record like binge recording a series of videos to hopefully release uh, in a staggered fashion over the next week or so. I'm gonna be flying to Finland tomorrow morning and I'll be gone for oh I don't know five or six days. Then I get back uh, next week. Back to business as usual if there is usual anymore. Slow poison, getting it done. Last building is going to go down here. These witches, bless their hearts, man. They uh, they get the job done for the three stars. So number 30 taking out number 17. Really nice work. Let's go to the next one. We're going to check out uh, from the bottom here. Tony. Which one do we want to see? Let's go with King Max and see what uh, she used. Bring in the witches again, man. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a uh, an episode here soon on the most overpowered troops in Clash of Clans and like rank the top three or five or or something and see which troops are really the most impactful out of all of them. So that's something you can kind of stay tuned for in the near future. Kind of excited to to do that episode. Um, I feel like witches will be on the list the way they are right now at all town hall levels. It's uh, kind of crazy to be honest. So Tony. Bringing the witches on the corners, this time though with the golems out in front. No healers to speak of, but that double jump spell. Uh, we do have a little bit of a, an issue right now with the hound, so I like what she has done. Waits on the jump spell here. Look at the golems reroute over the first jump spell, right before it disappears. And they're going to hit the second jump spell and go to the core. So really nice rerouting of the jump spells to get those into the core. Problem is, all the heroes and bowlers and everything go around to the right. So this isn't going as planned, 
but it's okay, obviously. Um, witches are up, lots of skeletons, there is no splash on this whole left side of the base. Uh, the mortar being on the far side, that's kind of a key point. This building right here, as you can see, all of the cannons are going to go down before the mortar is ever in range to do damage to take out these witches. Same thing on the other side, except for over here, we have a golem doing some key tanking for the queen. Queen's gonna be able to make it around the corner here to get the, uh, the mortar before she goes down. Looking really good. Now, the key point of the uh, the raid right now is the witches on, or are the witches on the left side, and it's all about those witches trying to take out and tank these cannons uh, as they push forward here. So you're gonna see the skellies. Uh, oh, oh, oh! It's uh, it's all about it's all about those witches. What? I was so wrong. Uh, all right, so it is about the witches in the core. No, no, that's that's not the case either. Um, it's about every troop on the board here that does not uh, end up as a skeleton. But it looks like the, the queen, oh my goodness, look at that. A sliver of hell. She's going to roll all the way around the corner. Good targeting there from the queen. I'm actually, oh my god. Are you serious right now? That's amazing. How did she go all the way down there? What a target job. She was all the way up here and she walked all the way around the wall. What a smart queen, that's epic. All right, so Tony getting it done against King Max Jr. Very nice raid, let's move on to the next one. See what else Rising's Nines have in store for us. We will go to the next six packer. Who's it gonna be? We got Shadow Walker. I'm gonna take the fresh one here because fresh ones are always a little more interesting in my opinion. We got Quad Lalo coming in, it looks like here. We got four exposed air defenses. Probably gonna see some uh, interesting balloons come in from the left side doing some funneling here. And then we're gonna have a walk, it looks like. Oh my God, look at that. Three buildings taken out with the balloons. Four buildings. That is epic value right there. You're gonna see the heroes kind of walk down the right side of this wall, I believe, uh, going for two air defenses. That's what I'm expecting to see. I don't know if I'm gonna be right because like uh, so far this video, I've been wrong on nearly everything. So up top, that's where you're gonna see the heroes. I'm wrong again. Perhaps, what are we doing down here? Is that just uh, lava hound pathing? I think it might be. I think it might be. Starting the, the, the hounds down there. So this could have gone a number of different ways. It's gonna go the way I didn't call. But uh, you know what? Normally I'm right, I'm right on about most predictions like that. Not so much. These last two days have been a little rough. Uh, Queen gets the air defense, works her way down the wall. She's gonna get a wizard tower as well. Not bad actually, unless he misses the ability, but he doesn't. So Shadow Walker there takes out the wizard tower. Gonna get an archer tower, and will he get the queen? Locks on. Not quite. Does get a, uh, a fair bit of damage there. The king finally dies to the Tesla outside the wall. And we have one hound go completely astray, but it is tanking the expo kind of on the backside of the base. Um, Skelly spell outside the wall does take out the queen, so that was actually super helpful. And then it's all about the, uh, the balloons from here. A really nice spread. They do group up on the air defense as they push into the back, but plenty of them left. And here comes the cleanup. Everything is down. Rage spell is down. It's all about the uh, the minions at this point. You're gonna see them come down um, on the other side here for cleanup. The only question right now is we have a Tesla over in that far right hand corner. So he's got to have the balloons go all the way back over there. Not ideal, but that's okay. Um, it does look like oh my god, there's a Tesla up top as well. So this is actually going to take a lot longer than I thought it was, uh, but it looks like the skeletons will actually overwhelm uh, over on the right side. They overwhelm the Tesla, get the job done, and that is that. So here we go. Everything cleared. Shadow Walker getting it done for the three-star. Nice work. Let's look at one more raid, guys. We've got WHF Rising taking down WHF. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Okay, so Black Zoro. There we go. We will take his first raid as well. This is a uh, another witch attack. Six healers in this one. Little interesting. We've got witches in the corners. Five of them up there. That is a lot of witches. And over on the other side, we've got a queen walk going. So this is going to be really, really interesting, I think. Queen walk combined with a witch component here. I wonder if the healers are going to go on the witches or what the deal is. But you can see how they're all spreading out. There are the healers. He's waiting to keep them out of range of the air defense. And hopefully the uh, the wizards are able to step up and take out the air defense uh, before too much damage is done to the healers. So no shots actually fired 
looking pretty good so far. So kind of watching both sides of the base right now. Uh, jump spell is down. King and Bowlers are going to go in behind a Golem. They get to the CC. There's a double poison there as well as the Queen. And this is a little bit tough. The Bowlers are actually taking out uh, troops there on the skip. And it's all about the jump spell placement right now. Look at that. Nice work there. The king hops the wall and gets deep to the far side of the base. So things looking really good. Still abilities for both of the enemy uh, troops here, or both the uh, heroes. And the only real sketchy section left at this point is the Tesla farm. But with a full health queen and an ability left, and it looks like six witches coming down the left side and a couple up the middle as well. This, this raid is well in hand. I'm liking the way this is going. Uh, we are looking solid. So the queen wrapping up. I'm going to 2x this one for the rest of it. Black Zoro getting it done. Loved it. Rising. Killing it. This war. They take down WHF 80 to 80. Win on percentage. And they are recruiting. WHF Rising, the gateway to the WHF fam is accepting Channel 9s and Channel 10s. Check the link in the description. And that's all I have for this episode, guys. I'm going to get to the next video before I get out of town. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Sub to the channel if you're new. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.